Hello children. Today we are going to study about perimeter and area. Perimeter. The word peri in Greek means around and meter means measure. Therefore, perimeter means measuring around a figure or a curve. In other words, the perimeter is the length of the outline of a shape. Remember, we can find the perimeter of a closed figure or a closed curve only. This is a square. Perimeter of a square. Square is a closed figure in which all the sides are equal and all the angles are right angles. Perimeter of a square is equal to 4 into length of one side. This is a square. One side is 12 cm. To find the perimeter of a square, we know that perimeter of a square is equal to 4 into length of one side is equal to 4 into 12 is equal to 48 centimeters. Perimeter of a rectangle. Rectangle is a closed figure which resembles a square except that in a square all sides are equal. However, in a rectangle only opposite sides are equal. The longer side of a rectangle is called the length and the shorter side of a rectangle is called the breadth. Perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 2 into length plus breadth. This is a rectangle. This is length and this is breadth. To find the perimeter of a rectangle having length is 6 cm. Breadth 3 cm. We know that Perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 2 into length plus breadth which is equal to 2 into 6 plus 3 is equal to 2 into 9. We get the perimeter of a rectangle as 18 centimeters. Area. Area measures the surface of a simple closed prison. In other words, the space occupied by a shape is called its area. The units of an area are the square of the units of length. Thus, area can be expressed in square units such as centimeter into centimeter square centimeters. Meter into meter is equal to square meters. Kilometer into kilometer is equal to square kilometers. Area of a square. Area of a square is equal to side into side. This is a square. One side is 19 centimeters. Second is so 19 centimeters. To find a area of a square having length is 19 centimeter. We know that area of a square is equal to side into side is equal to 19 into 19. We get the area of a square as 361 square centimeters. Area of a rectangle. Area of a rectangle is equal to length into breadth. This is rectangle. This we know that area of a rectangle is equal to length into breadth is equal to 6 into 4 is equal to 24 square meters. Length of a rectangle. Area of a rectangle is equal to 60 square centimeter. Breadth of a rectangle is equal to 15 centimeters. We know that area of a rectangle is equal to length into breadth. Here we have to find length of a rectangle is equal to area upon breadth is equal to 60 upon 15. We get length of a rectangle as 4 centimeters. Breadth of a rectangle. Area of a rectangle is equal to 80 square meters. Length of a rectangle is equal to 16 meters. Breadth of a rectangle is equal to area upon length is equal to 80 upon 16 is equal to 5 centimeters. Now, we will solve the problem sums on the basis of 
area and perimeter. The floor of a room is 15 meter long and 5 meters wide. How much carpet is required to cover the room? According to this question, we have length of a floor is equal to 15 meters. Breadth of a floor is equal to 5 meters. Area of the floor is equal to length into breadth is equal to 15 into 5. We get the area of a floor as 75 square meters. Required carpet is 75 square meters. Perimeter of a square garden is 48 centimeters. How long is one side of the square garden? According to this question, we have perimeter of square garden is 48 centimeters. We know that perimeter of a square gar garden is 4 into side. But we have to find side of a square garden. The side of a square garden is equal to perimeter upon 4 is equal to 48 upon 4 is equal to 12 centimeters. One side of the square garden is 12 centimeters. The boundary of a square brick is 28 centimeters. Find its area. Boundary is also called a perimeter. According to this question, we have perimeter of a square brick is equal to 28 centimeters. Side of a square brick is equal to perimeter upon 4 is equal to 28 upon 4. Side of a square brick is 7 centimeter. Area of the square brick is equal to side into side is equal to 7 into 7 is equal to 49 square centimeters. Arun wants to make a square room and each side is 50 meters. He uses bricks for flooring and each of its length is 5 meters and breadth is 2 meters. How many bricks are required for flooring? According to this question, we have side of the square floor is equal to 50 meters. We know that area of the square floor is equal to side into side is equal to 50 into 50 is equal to 2500 square meters. Length of the brick is equal to 5 meters. Breadth of the brick is equal to 2 meters. We know that area of the brick is equal to length into breadth is equal to 5 into 2 is equal to 10 square meters. We have to find number of bricks. Number of bricks required is equal to area of the floor upon area of the brick is equal to 2500 upon 10 is equal to 250 bricks. 250 bricks are required for flooring. Children, we have to learn the formulas. Remember the formulas? Perimeter of a square is equal to 4 into side. Perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 2 into length plus breadth. Area of a square is equal to side into side. Area of a rectangle is equal to length into breadth. Length of a rectangle is equal to area upon breadth. Breadth of a rectangle is equal to area upon length. Side of a square is equal to perimeter upon 4. Children, you have to learn all the formulas. Thank you, children.